hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you a little trick on how to push your code to github without entering your token or your username now let's take for instance let's just um launch our sandbox and web time in here let's cd into our github repo lx this is what we did last time lx precourses now let's say i have a file here called uh, touch file okay now i want to push this file into my github account i'm going to use git add dot git commit let's call the commit message which file all right then git push okay now it's asking us for our username and if i enter username training it hop zero one enter now asking for password which is your token and this can be frustrating when you want to push codes every time to github it keeps on asking you for username and password so today we're going to see how to push our code to github without it asking us for username and uh, password so let's go ahead and play this okay so the first thing you need to do is to generate what you call ssh key ssh key all right so we run our ssh minus key gen now you can do this at anywhere whether it's your repository for github or whether it's your root directory it doesn't matter you can do it anywhere and sss sorry ssh keygen enter now it's gonna ask you where you want to save those key but don't just change anything it's your enter key um overwrite oh i already have this in my laptop but don't not worry if you don't have whether you have it or not just type your y for yes then enter passphrase please don't enter anything just hit your enter key same password again it's just like password but don't just bother about that just press your enter key now your ssh key is generated all right so if you look at this you say your identification has been saved in the root directory and then your public key has been saved in this root ssh id underscore rsa dot pop this is the most important thing you want your public public key so what you would do right now is to get this public key and to do that you type the command less slash root slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pop okay please follow exactly what i'm doing so you don't make a mistake all right and now enter here is a key just use a mouse and copy note if you don't use less as a command probably want to use vi or mx you have to follow the different ways of copying in mx or less you're not going to use mouse but the less allows us to use mouse and copy that's why i want to use less okay right click on this and then copy when you're done with that you go to your github account here's a github account and then from here you click on your avatar click on settings from settings go to where you have the ssh and gpg key from here click on your new ssh on the title here put any value like let's say llx alx sorry key gen okay now here just paste that key you copied here and then add ssh key it's gonna ask for password enter the password you use during creating this account Okay, when you're done with that, you can see the key is generated here. There's a key, but it is not used yet. When it is used, this man will turn to green. The key is going to turn to green. Okay, now from here, you go back to your terminal. Press letter Q to take you back to where you were. Now, let's play this. Okay, after that, simply CD, go back. Go back and then remove that ALX pre code that folder that was there already. The one we created, we cloned using HTTP. So RM 
minus r to remove it precocity lx lx precocis enter the file is gone all right now we want to clone the file using our new key okay so you go back to your github click on your avatar click on repositories now click on the lx precourse the repository you want to activate the key click on the lx precourses then click on code i hope you're following click on code then if you were on https just change it to ssh all right then copy this just click here to copy the code there then come back here and then type git clone and then paste what you copied hit enter key it's gonna clone into that directory now you're done with that you can now let's clear this okay if you go back to your github account and then let's just refresh this page and after that let's go to settings again and then go to that your sh and gpg key you can see that the key turns to green meaning this key is being utilized. Okay, we are done. That's that's very simple. Now let's see the into the air LX precourses. Now let's create another thing called um, let's just create file two. Okay, enter. Now let's try to git add, git commit, and git push. Add dot git commit. Push file two, okay, and then hit push. You can see it's no longer asking us to put any password or token. So that's just the way you can bypass sending or pushing anything to GitHub with password and token at every time or username rather. Okay, just follow exactly what I've done, and you will not be punishing yourself pushing codes with token and um, using it i hope that the video was very very interesting to you thank you and ensure you subscribe to this channel for more is coming bye for now